one starts streaming. Everybody, this I is. I am. Oh, go ahead. I'm streaming. Yay. And you are. I'm Winnie Riggle. <laughs> and I am Physics. And this is Winnie and Physics Fishing Adventure. Because nothing says exciting or excitement. Like, like fishing. A, like a photobombing <laughs> iron golem. Really, dude? I mean, like, you're right in front of me. What? I know. I don't want to look at your butt. <sighs> He's got a... Oh, there's, there's another one. You you made all these guys. I so. did. It's totally <laughs> my fault. <laughs> They're here. Um, so we are... We're going to do a, like, break down the fourth wall video today. Since our That's last... Right. Our last episode was our... Super califragilistic Halloween special, <laughs> where we battle. Uh, oh, I hit him. <laughs> it's all right. I was going to put a carved pumpkin. But yeah, we're in creative. Mm -hmm. um, so I always forget how and, to do stuff. There we go. And I thought we could. Um, oh, I like that. Let's do that. Uh, I thought we could um, do a little <laughs> pumpkin head. This reminds <laughs> me of our end episode. I thought we could do a little uh, explanation of some of the tricks we used for the Halloween episode in case anybody was wondering um, exactly how we got certain things to spawn and set up the world and all that. So I just thought it would be fun to uh, spend an episode saying, hey, look at this thing that we did. <laughs> and this is how. Oh, I forgot how bad the view is when you turn into <laughs> Yeah, regular. you got to F1 it. Okay, it's out. So I guess we'll start with... Um, the simplest thing, which is let's look at, take a look at the church. The heads are available in creative. If anybody didn't know that, it's no special anything. You just go search for them. Oh, I forget I'm in creative, so I'll just fly around. That's all right. And oh my but, lord, there's so many villagers. <laughs> they're super happy that we uh, we saved the day. Exactly. So first up, we'll start down here. Of course, you can make an iron golem. We've done that before on stream. Uh, the Upside Down Villagers, if you name tag anything with the name Dinnerbone, capital D, they turn upside down. And do you have cool. here, do you want me to throw a villager down and do it? Do you have a name tag? Hold on. That's what I was just going to do, but I can't. I keep typing Dinnerbone into the search menu. <laughs> what the actual <laughs> crap. I can do you one better. No, just capital D, but we can make, we can, can we change Steve's, okay, you got one. So, dinner bone, boom. Oh, I missed it, but okay, he's upside well, down do another, now. Do another one, I still, I still have the name tag, do another one. There you go, here, I'm watching. There you go. <laughs> hey, you can do uh, Steve Gollum, too. You can do anything. Right, there's Steve Gollum, now he's dinner bone. <laughs> he's gonna fall, I'm gonna wait till he falls on his head. Right? <sighs> So the thing is, is that Slowly. if you go into F3B, I gotta turn their hitboxes down. I gotta turn game sounds down. I'm sorry, they're way too loud. Okay, okay, That's there okay. we go. So they their hitboxes stay exactly the same. So it, it doesn't actually flip their hitboxes upside down, which I find kind of sad. Like I think that it would be really useful actually to have an upside down hitbox. But this is a very unattractive view, my friend. <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying Gollum Crotch was not on my list of things <laughs> I wanted to see today. <laughs> okay, so that's awesome. up, upside down things. You just name tag them dinner button. It works with anything. Cow, pig, chicken, golem, villager, you name it, you can turn it upside down. How about yourself? I don't think so. I've never tried it though. I'm afraid it'll break things. <laughs> no, I'm not even tempted. Okay, uh, next up, zombies in the ground. That yeah, don't burn. so you notice it? It's daylight right now, right? Yep. And we're going yep. down Sun, our path. Sun's out. <laughs> sun's out, and I think golems actually killed a lot of them. Oh, here's one. Yeah. So here's one down here. So if you can see, there's absolutely nothing above them. Except for sunlight. Yep, and he's not How burning. How can he's not, he's not burning? Why isn't he toast? It's magical. It is magical. And so it's a combination of two things. And one is 
throw some honey blocks down. But watch this. If you just do this and he jumps, he's going to burn. So that's no good. But he can't get out and he'll just die. I'm going to just let him die. But oh, I need to do two blocks away. Oops. Die already, dude. You're such a slow dyer. No, it's like, come on, you're ruining the timing, man. Go, go, die. Oh. <laughs> he does not want to die, man. There we go, finally. Oh, did you whack him? All right, so you do this. Oh, yeah, he got one. You pissed it in a block, any block, as long as it's even a, a slab, but it has to be a top slab. They live. No problem. Happy as can be. No no bacon, no baking in cro uh, required. He doesn't turn into bacon. Even though he's holding some. He's holding zombie bacon. That's crazy. Do we know mm. why this works? Uh, no, actually. I don't have any idea why. Because even if you put a slab... Let's say you put a slab I on bet you. Head. I bet you it has to do with the light level of the block they're standing on. Right? Yeah. And so I bet the, because the light level is zero of what he's standing on, then it doesn't trigger the I'm a zombie on a light level high enough to burn. Oh, well, let's test that with a trap door because a trap door won't keep it from burning, right? Right. Or will it? I don't, trap door, I don't I know. Does the trap door an, change the light level? The iron, an iron trap door will. So we'll do, we'll do one with iron and one with just regular. Okay. So here's... Oh, I guess I could have just flipped it down, which is fine. I'll do that. Do, do, do. Yeah, but I'll need a block behind it. I'll have to do this for iron. Dun, dun, dun. Because iron will stay flipped down. And then I'll piston this guy in. Yep. And do a button. So this one shouldn't burn. And this one here, which I'm going to do a regular wooden trap door should burn. All right, here we go. Oh, honey. <laughs> I just forgot the main because they just escape. Honey. That'd be so sad. Honey, honey. Okay, here we go. There's that. You're burning. Oh, come on. He's, he may stop burning. We'll give it a second. And then this guy. Oh, you so There we go. Okay. The dude in the wooden one's not burning. Nope, there he goes. Okay. But mm. aren't trapdoors transparent blocks? Like, don't they not block light? Well, like if the I... iron, iron trapdoor is supposed to be block light blocking. Oh, well, the sun oh, is down. dark. Well, just... It, it, yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll change it. Got it. So, I, our other option, and the next thing we'll try, is glass. Okay, so that does not block light at all. Yeah, we know that's totally transparent. There's glass. And the piston. Oh, no. Did I put glass there? Do, do, do. Glass. And I'll stand over here. Of course, I did this at, it's, you know, at night. They don't burn at all. Here. There we go. So I think you're right. So the light level at their feet is uh, yeah. Okay. Well, officially, it looks like iron trap doors are still transparent, and I think your theory about light levels is a good theory. I can't say that it's been proved, but it certainly hasn't been disproved. <laughs> What you thinking? I think Winnie's in another dimension right now. I'm talking to myself on mute. <laughs> that'll be that'll be, a, that'll be a funny clip in the video. Oh. So okay. uh, yeah, so science side of Minecraft, let us know if that's true. It's the light level of the block that a monster is standing on determines whether or not they burn. It makes and, sense. In the it's meantime, wise. yeah, yeah, it does yeah. make sense. In, in the meantime, meantime, let's uh, go to the next thing. He's not burning. 
I know. <laughs> Safe zombies. Stay there. Have fun. We were going to cure them, but I think they're more fun as zombies. We'll name I them. agree. I think that they're all well, they'll eventually get killed off by golems wandering whatever, golems, yeah. most likely, which is sad. Okay, next okay. up, um, hordes of drowns. Yes. So we have these awesome hidden, I say hidden. Not um, very noticeable. <laughs> somewhat hidden. See, they summon, you step on them for only a couple of seconds. Like, she's going to do it a long time and it's going to be ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. And so... <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, and they're God. still on top of each other. Popping okay, here. Around. I'll be I'll be a bit a guinea pig. Hold on. I'll go into survival. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if I could type. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Should I do time set night and they'll float up, maybe see you? Oh yeah, maybe that'd be better. <laughs> Did you watch him come? Oh, there's tridents in there. I have there no food, tridents. no armor. Hi. <laughs> oh, it's just that? a ridiculous amount of things. So uh, you have the iron and stuff for an iron golem. Let's just make one or two. I do. I'm gonna get back they, at it. They won't, because they won't drown. <laughs> I'm getting back out of survival. That was scary. Look at all those tridents. I know. They won't drown. Of course not. Go get them. Yeah, that's... Look at them. Wow, they're just swarming like ants. <laughs> oh, I should get an iron and help out the iron golems and just keep feeding them happiness. Right? Oh, you're, you're doing that, too. Come on, dude. Get in there. They're having a great time. They're just, like, jumping right in the melee. <laughs> They're awesome. It's awesome. I guess the question is, do we get any tri... I don't think you get any tridents from them killing them, which no, is... No, I, I don't either. Unfortunate. One of them has, there's an enchanted fishing rod down there. Really? I'll, I'll collect it just for fun to see what, what got. And a lot, of, a lot of zombie flesh. We okay. seriously, oh, I love if you make them underground, they do a thing. Oh, let's do that. Underground, do underwater. Oh. That's the word I was looking for. Oh, that didn't work. Why don't you do a thing? Oh, you can't make an iron golem underwater. Oh, because there's water. Duh. Water counts, we apparently. Go. We yeah. learned that well, already, see, didn't we? Um, it's really tricky about what's surrounding it. Like, what can touch and not touch. Like, there we go. That piece of grass. They did a pretty good job. Oh, well, did I you made... pick up the... Uh, the no, nope, I don't, I don't think he dropped it. I don't think he dropped it because okay. he was killed by a golem. Oh. Mm. Okay, um, so there was the drown... You can get... But, and this you can't is just get a Nautilus shells, though. Yeah, and so I'm showing folks that the smoke in the swamp is also soul fires burn underwater, or yeah, continue like to burn. Didn't... And there is a um, how do I open this command block without hurting it? Right click, yes. Yeah, and just it's right just click. a summon Minecraft drown to a particular oh. block location. And the difference here too. Oh, you step. Well, one of us stepped on it. Mm -hmm. I stepped on it. I guess. you did. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, um, you want to. I put it on repeat instead of impulse. So impulse means you're only going to get it once, and then repeat means that it'll as long as there's redstone, it'll continue to do that command. So that's how you're getting a bunch of them and one press. And yeah. you do need the needs redstone to be added to this. Yep. Very cool. Okay, then the next one is also down the path. And there are two of them here. Yes. So the first one... <laughs> <laughs> you 
<laughs> summons a ghast. And that one has the impulse. So only one. Because we figured we didn't need 50,000 no. ghasts. No. We were like, can, if we, can we even deal with one? And that turned out to be pretty tough to deal with them, which is cool. It was. I mean, it's the overworld, right? And seeing gas, mm -hmm. it's so much fun. Okay, and then there's one more over here. And this is just a regular zombie. And I think the summoning point is in uh, the graveyard. Yes, yes, it is. Here, I'm, I'm going to head up and so you can see him piling out. Of course, they're burning up immediately. Oh, okay. Because it's yeah. daylight. There you go. <laughs> just, Have some more. They're just following the poor Iron Golem who just is toast now. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I might have stood on that a little too long. <laughs> uh, oh, God, there's so many. Oh, that's wrong. Now, they wrong. do despawn the same way, so after five minutes, they'll be gone. Yeah. Unless they're holding something. So, but... <laughs> I love this. Oh, golems. and so, do you have a regular pumpkin mm. instead of? I, you know, I have the same creative inventory you do. <laughs> I know, you... I know. I just, you're you're doing such a great job. Where are you? <laughs> I'm way above you. I'm top, uh, hovering over you. Oh, okay. I just want I want to demonstrate real quick because we made this grave site that had a bunch of the iron golems. And then with oh, yeah. pumpkins. With a regular pumpkin. With a regular pumpkin, so they're fine, just sitting there. And then I... And when you make it the pumpkin into a carved pumpkin, voila, you get an iron golem. Yeah, which I didn't so, know you could actually do. Like, I so didn't I either. And we have a bunch cool. of those. Like, here's one. Here's one. And so that way you can, like, preset stuff up, and then you can... Run around with a pair uh, of shears... <laughs> yep. To, to call on help. To call on help. And so, yeah, so the idea here is you can come up with ideas for adventuring. <laughs> and you can also pair up. So, like, one person can make it, the other can share it. Um, or you can have, like, a, even, like, a whole line of them. Yeah, but this one's tricky because they don't like being next to each other. Like, I don't think you can actually do this. Because there are blocks next to it. Oh, you can if it's not to the side. Okay. And he's blocking it, so I can't actually engage. There we go. Hi. How about you move out of the way? <laughs> but you can, but you like, hopefully they need, will move out of the way. Oh, and if you get your or pumpkin you? set on the wrong direction, it doesn't work either. So you have to be facing the flat part. Well, and remove the grass. I don't know. This one? There was grass next was to it. Yeah. Ah. Uh, see it? what was underneath it? To the right of the bottom block. Hmm. There we go. And they always face south when they uh, pop to life. I'm pretty yeah. sure. So F3. Yep. Facing south. Okay. So the... Um, towers which i don't know if anyone had time to notice but they're all identical each of the towers that we climbed up to use to and so i did not build these by hand seven times i actually built one way over on top of that mountain and then used minecraft structure blocks to copy paste it into the world there are a bunch of great tutorials. One of the best one is by Exumavoid. So if you do a Google for Exumavoid and Minecraft structure blocks, you'll find a great tutorial on how to use them to copy and paste structures in your world. And how do you get the structure block? Because that's not... Oh, you have to give it to yourself. So if I go into chat and say, give Winnie Minecraft stru and just type type in structure, a uh, structure block comes up. So now... I have structure block. And you need to have inventory. You need to have inventory Space. to do it. Yep. <laughs> and there are, like I said, um, you can s build stuff and save it and then load it other places. But Exumavoid has the best tutorial on this. Nice. On how to use them. They are, the only tricky part is that your structure always faces east. 
Like that's where it's going to paste to. So make sure you have space on the east. Yeah, or side. learn how to flip it around and send it the other direction if you need to. But yeah, face east to make sure makes it easier to place. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Not very complicated. You just set the bottom left corner and the bottom right like a 3D box that surrounds it. And you need to say copy it. And you fill in the air blocks um, if you need to be able to paste it close to other things. Otherwise, I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. Then did I think, that work? So it, did it save the it air did, blocks? It did. Like, like or I, did it destroy the stuff around it? No, no, no. It, I replaced them with structure void blocks, which allows okay. you to paste it right next to stuff. And we'll see that over the one I pasted really near the witch hut is almost in this tree. And so it didn't hurt any of the tree blocks, and it just pasted it right in. Nice. And there's... Like, over here? Are there, well, it's still the, kind of... The blue, which, the blue which tree. Is, this one. This one over here? Okay, there was the blue tree. Yeah, because you can see the tree basically is sticks over the edge. So it didn't hurt any of the tree blocks. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Nice. Because otherwise, all this would have gone. <coughs> otherwise, it would have oh. cut off that tree right at the edge. Yeah. Nice. So that did work out correctly. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. It was So it was worth putting all those void... Uh, yes, it was. The and void blocks. And there's actually a fill command you can use to, to do that. I got the fill command from another video. But <laughs> um, sometimes Minecraft tutorials mean multiple YouTube videos. Okay. For one... One concept. Uh, yep. So we built, and the path and stuff is just a path. I mean, it's just regular building in Minecraft. But here's another special block. And this is, uh, this is another zombie horde one. And I over don't know, here. Where were they? Near the witch hut? Mm hmm. Okay, yeah. Right oh, and they're all burning. Yep. I see them. Yeah. They're burning in the sun. <laughs> toasty, toasty, warm. Toasty zombies. Okay, and then there was one last pressure plate. Uh, I don't know here. where it is. Because you come around and it's hidden come right here. Around. I don't know where where is here. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm. So very same Do thing. You see me? It's a command block. Yeah, I'm at it. But this was a special one. This is you only can. Summon this guy with the name. Yeah, with giant. You can't, they don't, there's no egg, there's no nothing. And uh, where'd he go? Is he dead already? He might be. Did, <laughs> Did he, he burn in the sun? He, really? I wonder if he even spawns in the sun. Do it again. Oh, yeah, he's there. Did you burn? There he is. I don't know. Maybe he despawned. Maybe he despawned. Weird. Really? Anyway, they used to have an AI, but which is would have been really cool. They used to have the zombie AI. Now they don't. They're like giant. For all of like. They're like giant Thanksgiving minutes. Day parade blimps. You can shove them yeah. around too. But they're <laughs> cool looking. Here, let's leash them. Can you? I bet. Oh no, I don't know. Can you leash a a mob? A I don't think zombie? you can. I don't think so. Hmm. I think you can. Well, you can't put him in a fishing rod. Nope, him. Can't. <laughs> can you pull him with a fishing rod? Oh sure. Oh, you can. Well, that's way more effective. Lead him around. Come All right, on. buddy. You can take you him for a walk. Him? You can take him for a walk. I wonder if you can get him in a boat. Uh here. Let's see. I'll make a boat. I would laugh. Right, got, I'm sure you can. Okay, this is my screenshot is zombie, uh -oh. zombie fishing. Zombie fishing. I have a hard time. There we go. Nah. I am not very good at moving stuff around. Okay. I'm going to put the boat down and I'm going to do it here because I don't want it to... I don't think you can because he can't actually move to get. He's on it, but he's not in it. Hmm. Right. Is 
This is kind of like why it's so hard to get an iron golem in a boat. I people have done it. I have not. I have never been able to get an iron golem in a boat. Yeah. Like, can I even get yep. in the boat with him there? No. But let's try. His hitbox is too big. Oh, I think, though, can... that we can do um, a minecart. Oh. Is that because you can get anything in a minecart? Pretty much, yeah. Oh! Sorry, dude. Oh, here. Okay. Here is the minecart. Push him over a little bit. There we go. That should be... All right, what's your hitbox looks like, buddy? Oh, there we go. Okay. Is he in? He's in. Technically, he's in. Do you see him sitting? <laughs> oh, my God. That's the greatest. Hold on. I'll take that screenshot of that. Oh, zombie in a minecart. Giant zombie in a minecart. Can you turn around and face me and not be in front of him? Can he move to your... Yeah. Go back. Like, there. Perfect. Uh... Giant zombie in a minecart. I can't see. <laughs> I'm in front of you. I'm down, down, lower on the ground. Do you see me? How no, do you but not... I mean, well, here. I know. I know where you are. Oh. Do you want me looking at you? I yes. said, like, if I Thank F5, you. I can't see. Okay, let me. I can't see. I want to try to F5 <laughs> and see everything. Oh, no, I can't see that, him in F5. We have to that, go in... that was my point. We have to go in front of him. That's why. Let's see. Yeah. I like, right. Come over here. But yeah, that's good. A bit, and he's still there with the cart. I'm gonna go down a little. Yeah, like that. Uh huh. That's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> that's so funny. You're like right in his nether regions. <laughs> oh, I don't want to be the nether region. Well, if you'd look to your left a little, he would not be right behind us. There you go. <laughs> That's just so funny. So great. <laughs> so good. Okay. There we go. <laughs> just Let's see. Fun fun with Minecraft. <laughs> right? It just doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, zombie. Giant zombie. I love that he fits in a minecart. How great is that? Well, I mean, what's your definition of fit? <laughs> Well, like if you it can't stayed get to on, him. if he'd if it stayed on the rail, you'd be able to shove him. Yeah. Well, I think you if you let's see, I'm gonna get a fishing rod because I don't have one right now, and I bet you can pull him forward. No, sadly, because he's not mm -hmm. actually on a rail, so we have to do it again. Yeah, I can't reach. I can't reach the minecart. His hitbox. So the trick, the trick on that is to go underneath. So you can dig underneath and then get to the minecart. Actually, he's big enough. He's huge. There we go. He's still in there. And then, oh, he's still in there. But let's see. I've got the sword. There we go. He's out. Wow. He's so big. Who knew I'd have to like <laughs> deal with Oh and he's stuck in the ground now. Yeah. Or he's down one. Okay, let's he's just he's let's just he's start done. Over. You're done. There we go. <laughs> oh he gave me XP. I wonder how much XP. Five. Just like a regular zombie, huh? Yeah. Uh, uh day I'm gonna turn it to daylight again. Time set day. Okay, I'm gonna put you ready? I'm going to make another one. Hold on. It doesn't. Well, it's not like he's going anywhere, right? No, but I want powered rail. <laughs> one second. <laughs> why do you need a power? So he goes back and forth. Oh. <laughs> like, why not? Okay. And then okay, I I'll need... get rid of him. And then. And I need levers. I'll make another one for you. See, make it further so he can go farther. Back and forth. Right? Hold on.
I wonder if he'll get stopped by the tree. I bet he will. It'll be funny. I bet he will. Okay. <laughs> Mine cart. Okay, we're ready. We're ready? Yeah, right. send him in. I, I'm getting another one. All right, we're... There he is. There's my little... I could have just do the summon command. Next time I'll do that. Instead of running over. I don't see him. What do you mean you don't see him? Oh, he's there we go. My bad. Okay, come here. Of course, I would have to put the cart way the hell over here. Oh, you could just push the cart. Like, the cart will run into him and pick him up. Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay. So... There he is. There we go. Whoa! Whoa! Gotta get out of the way! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's glitching through the stuff, which is great. Oh, that's, that's awesome! We should have made a whole train and put a giant zombie on a train all the way around the base. <laughs> this is better. This is the best thing ever. Oh, uh, we're gonna just do that. Let's. We'll, we'll make. We'll make a little track for him here at the. And he can just run the, around the swamp the whole time. Well, you want to call him Hall for Halloween Hall for Hallows Hall. Hallows Hall, yeah. Hey, Hall. Here's a name tag. <laughs> and an anvil. Uh, I feel like... I feel like we could, we should make two of them and they seesaw up and down. I'll make a seesaw for them or something. Did he get a name? Or swing? I can't, I can't tell. Uh, I don't know. I don't see. Can you name tag a giant? Maybe not. Oh wait, wait! I thought I saw something. Unless you read his hit box. I don't know where his hit box is. <laughs> okay, well, I I've named tagged him like forty times. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Oh, it says Hall. If you go into F three, yeah, and stand over him, it says Hall. Oh, like nice. F three. Uh, Do you see it? Right? Did F three B? And over the hitbox, and I could see it. Yes, oh, okay, yeah, without yeah, it, yeah, you yeah. can see it. Okay, sweet. He's, he's name tagged. Nice. <laughs> of course, that's, you know, <laughs> you're not going to get this in vanilla. So this no, is obviously no. A, he's so cuddly. I feel like he's a plushie. Uh, right. Okay. How much do I love that he can ride a minecart? <laughs> that. <laughs> That is a gimmick I need to remember. Yeah, and I think giant zombie friend riding on a minecart. This is the best I'm gonna do something ever. that may. I don't know if it'll break it or not. I want to. I'm gonna build. I'm gonna see if you can't cover this. <laughs> you can. You <laughs> can. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Oh, so he like basically just floats. He would be floating. Yeah. That's hilarious. Okay, there was one other. Was there one other thing? Oh, yeah, yeah we forgot on top of the uh, graveyard hill. Mm hmm. Also, skeleton horses that you spawn in with eggs do not turn into the four horsemen of the apocalypse. I've never been so disappointed in my life. I know. Well, we didn't want to try, like, we didn't try some of this stuff out before we ran it because we yeah. wanted it to be a surprise. And it was, Definitely I think it was surprise. a surprise. <laughs> yep, it was. Okay, but so you we can't saddle any of these horses, which I find super sad. It is sad. Uh, yeah, they have to be an apocalypse horse. Not the egg spawn one. So, physics also set up a couple of command blocks for oh, weather. Yeah. So we could have thunderstorms while we were fighting zombies. And then when we were tired of it, there's also a weather clear button. Thank goodness. <laughs> yes. So I'm sure y'all saw us um, 
And this is just you know, a console so command, whether clear. <laughs> yeah, like we just didn't want to have to type it in chat because we had our chats turned off. So Yes. Which, not that we didn't want to, we just, we couldn't actually at that Suspension point. Suspension <laughs> of disbelief, right? We were storytelling. And we didn't want a zombie to act. So, so some of the fun of it is that a zombie or a chicken would or a witch run like they kept over spawning or... the giant zombie like they kept running over the the pressure plates and spawning yes. things which was hilarious <laughs> especially this one over here like super fun yeah especially this one over here there was a baby zombie that kept coming in to hit this when we were testing it it's pretty funny <laughs> like was well, we got you? a rabbit no. stuck on one oh, <laughs> the rabbit spawned hordes we had to like manually uh, we had to command kill them there were so many <laughs> they were bad. I love that he's still going. And there were, I think my, for me, the only disappointing part is I had spawned in a bunch of witches and none of them were here the night we were fighting things. And I'm like, we spawned them in like 10 minutes before we started. Where the heck did they go? Oh, uh, yeah. It, if you sum it, they don't, they don't stay around very long. It's only five minutes. Yeah. The, so the spawn eggs, I did the timing wrong. Like I sh we should have set up an actual spawner pressure plate thing. But I didn't want mm -hmm. 400 witches. I just no. wanted a couple. Well, and we had, and there's a couple of spawners that are hidden around, which I don't know. I forgot where I've done them. Did and what's them? the, oh, and the button in the house is to set the time to dawn again and restart the daylight cycle. Right. Because we made it so permanent night to start. So if you follow the path around, I, I created a couple of, I pulled up spawn uh, actual spawners and so it has like during the night you'll see zombie pigmen around oh and that's yeah from being close enough to a spawner to make them go oh that's but cool. i don't remember where i hid them i hid about three oh, different so if we spawners. could go into i wonder if you could go spectator oh yeah we can go into spectator can you see him i don't know if you can see him oh yeah i think that's one Yep, that's one. There's one over here, I think. Oh, did you find one? Yeah. Which one did you find? Oh, here's one. Underneath a, a well, tree. I have a, I have a yeah. spider one here on the tree. the tree. Which I'm, how come it, there's a cat? Oh, it's, why is there a cat? Game mode creative. There we go. So yeah, there, there are spawners. They're these super black blocks. Oh, it's not, oh, it's because it's not dark enough. Yeah. Game. No time set. Midnight. Here we go. See. And then they would just poof around. I was like, "How come these aren't working?" It's like, duh. Time sensitive. <laughs> Turns out. Oh yeah. So here's one going under the tree. I'm still in spectator mode, so I can see the. Okay. That was okay. I wondered where the zombie pigmen came from. I was like, "Do we have yeah. another portal here?" Wow, they walked a long way. Okay, that's cool. No, I thought it would be cool to have zombie pigmen. Like they're awesome. Oh. It was great having them around. Oh, and the slime. Gollum was like, "No, we don't like them." Yeah, golems hate them. I hear you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to. I'll go to spectator. Okay, I'm gonna go over to the button and make it daylight again. Okay, well I just oh you're gonna watch the okay oh. yeah yeah. Oh no, you can. Oh, yeah, here's the spawner over here. And this is oh the the villagers zombie villagers. Oh, yeah, you got just, a um you, know. you got a spider jockey from that one. Ooh, nice. Yeah, we can. Game mode survival. Oops, nope. Game mode. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, creative. There we go. <laughs> I was gonna kill myself. There. I, the hardest part about this was figuring out what the actual Minecraft time was for dawn. And if you didn't know, it's twenty three thousand. Twenty three thousand. Like that does not make sense at all. But it's twenty three thousand to get a perfect sunrise. Yep. Nice. And so we have a button. Yeah, so the idea was like we, we slayed the, the giant. Oh, we got another giant. He has friends. Oh, good. And that we would come around 
fend off all the witches that never appeared <laughs> yeah. and duck in and give us dawn. A yeah. new dawn, a, new, a dawn. new day. A whole new world. Yeah. Mm. Can I ride him? <laughs> I can. I'm riding in his head. That was really creepy. Oh. Um. Can Whoa. you? Okay, I kinda. have No. Hmm. Can what? Huh? Uh, I don't know. I was I was thinking that we could put a if you put a honey block on it, what would happen? Don't. How about we not nope. say we did? <laughs> I, he's fine. You're like leave him alone. Leave this one alone. You can go experiment and creative with another one. I'm killing your I'm killing your friend, Hall. Oh, he'll go away soon. You're like, just get out of the I way. like that his little legs go bloop, 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 bloop. Okay. Poor Hall is lonely again. And he doesn't like creepers. Nobody likes creepers. Nobody like Ain't nobody likes creepers. <laughs> it's cool that he is, I don't, like, even though his hitbox is huge, he still glitches through glitches stuff. Glitches through stuff. Which is good, I guess. Mm-hmm. He's just gonna hang out here doing his thing. Okay. Um, what else? The button for the sunset. And I think that's it. That's um That's it. Other yeah. than the obvious, like we bone meal fungus and mushrooms to get the mushroom and fungus trees and to spawn jungle trees in using saplings and bone meal. And mm -hmm. I added Spammed a bunch of cobwebs everywhere. Yeah, and I know y'all seen my how to grow a big tree trick. I'm sure this is a uh, might be a B dubs trick. Uh, um, so and you did that for the oak trees. Yeah, I did it for the oak trees. It only works for the oaks. Uh, hold on. Oh, okay. So if you I'm plant a you sapling and put, I'm over behind hall. Put a okay. sapling. I won't because I'll watch this. Yeah. Bone meal. Oh, bone I see meal, you now. Sapling and slap. You need. A bone meal, sapling, dirt, and a slab. Where are you? Okay. If you put a sapling down, put a piece of dirt on top just as a placeholder, and then you put slabs around it, and then remove your dirt, and then bone meal your sapling, it 95% of the time you get a bigger version of the oak tree. There are three, nice. three big versions of the oak tree. That is the smallest, which we don't like. But you keep doing it till you get a big one. So I did like, oh my god, 40 of these or something. Yeah. But does it matter if there's still... No. As long as the one straight up from the sapling is there, it'll be fine. Oh, In fact, won't... an oak tree will grow completely surrounded by stuff. This is just... Yeah, see, it made another little version of the big ones. But that's how you get the big ones. 95% of the time, you'll get one of these when you do that. Oh, here, wait. Um, game rule. Yeah, set the game tick to like 100. It ought to do it. Uh, random tick speed 300. There you <laughs> go. Okay. <laughs> There you go. There we go. That's that's what we're talking about. Big tree. And it's pretty cheap. Like if you have a skeleton farm, you can make all big trees. I do it in almost every build. Make the big oaks. Nice. And I think that's Versus it. Versus the super big oak. Is yeah. that still four? The super big one? Can you do four? No. Or is it I mean you can, it'll so grow, different. but it's not it's not a different tree, not like jungle and spurs. Uh, okay. Or dark. I think dark. It's makes dark oak. Fat. That you, dark oak, you have to have four or you can't okay. grow it. Yep. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a gardener. It's a thing. I think that really was it in terms of behind the scenes for uh, Haunted Hollows Hall. Yeah. But it does look, I'm going to turn it back to, well, did we see it? 
Yeah, we saw enough at night. I it's think fine. we have a whole episode of it it's... at night. <laughs> exactly. Good. If you want to see it at night, check out the <laughs> check special. Check out the special, the Halloween special. And so this is different. It's present because when he came back to fix it because the creeper exploded right there. Yeah. <laughs> I just, just whatever wood I had, I was like, oh, let's make more zombies. Because we got, <laughs> like, we were at the first tower and the golems had killed all the zombies. I'm like, that's no fun. Let's go turn that back on. I highly recommend taking iron golems wherever you go so the benefit of having an iron golem farm pretty much everywhere yeah is iron golems is iron golems yeah. they're useful so take the iron and make golems and then fight hordes of things yeah they really i mean it's amazing i love watching hall he's like coming in out of the tree line over there yeah <laughs> halsey the best you're the best halsey right okay um halsey's like i'm green i'm seasick get me off this ride <laughs> i know See, i think more that's bunnies. it for all of our like trade secrets yep that that's it for the trade secrets and everything else was just uh building and yes we did build this in creative because we don't got We that figured kind of... the whole thing was going to be a, a creative adventure, so why yeah. not do it in creative? Also, we don't have that kind of time. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, for a special, it was totally, like... For a one-off special, we For a one-off special, we thought it was totally cool. And it uh, was otherwise, really... Otherwise, this, we... this world is pristine. Yeah. And we we'll had a always great... let you know if we did something creative. Yeah. <laughs> We had a great time doing this, too. Like, it was fun for us. And I think that was... And we took advantage of the fact that on Halloween, half the mobs had pumpkin heads, which was my favorite part. It was very cool. Well, that inspired me to make my pumpkin farm, my little mini... Oh, um, yeah, the video. Go automatic. check out... Go check out Physics Tileable One Wide Pumpkin Farm. In fact, you should build it here. Like, you should come you up to the village and show... And okay. we'll, make, we'll make them go watch the video, too. But it's so cool. Yeah. I mean, I I did it because the thing about any automatic pumpkin farm that exists right now is that they have a bunch of stuff above ground. Yeah. And I wanted to make something that only had, like, one observer. And then you have, do, do, do. let's see, I need a seed, pumpkin seed. I'll go ahead and kind of do it in reverse. Uh, that's not the wrong, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what tools I need. Another right hoe, yay. Do it. <laughs> I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have done that because I forget that. Um, oh, oops, I got a challenge met, sorry. Yeah, that was my fault. Um, hopper. I don't want a chest. I want a barrel because I like barrels. I can just grab all the inventory stuff. Um, and honestly, I think that's it. Oh, you already did it. That's cool. <laughs> Cause that's, that, I can't remember if you needed to piston that block in before you do it. I, I don't know. But we can redo it. I have a seed and a hoe at the ready. Oh, that's right. I forgot about I do have to piston in, but that's okay. For the collection system, because it is... Yeah. No, no, you don't. You don't You don't actually have to. Never mind. Okay. Oh, wait, you do, because... But... I forgot. Um... No, actually, you don't. That's part of the benefit of this. I think I do it unnecessarily. It goes there. Okay, you do. Here's the collection. And then I get rid of this. I'm not explaining anything. Sorry about that. That's a hopper mine cart on top of a rail. Break the rail so it sits on the piston. Piston facing okay. down on top of a block because you're going to piston the block into the mine card so it's hidden. Um, 
There's that. And you actually want... Hmm. I did this wrong, but that's okay. There we go. Okay, so piston a sticky piston into the hopper minecart. And I need a repeater. So I can get the signal. Repeater, repeater, repeater. Okay, so there is that. And let's do flowers. That should be it. And I need a barrel. Put you down. And we'll test this out. Okay, we'll need to do one more, which is what I thought. That's the only thing is it is expensive. Unless I put the wrong one down, which is very possible. Yeah, it is a little expensive, but I don't think, um... There we go. It's not completely undoable. Like, it's just a couple pieces of quartz for the observers and iron for the rest. And slime. Stink piston. Oh, I need bone meal. And... I forgot that... Also, just FYI for folks, uh, pumpkins are happier when they sense different kinds of dirt around them, including either having a flower or not, or other farmland. farmland. It makes them grow faster. Okay. Oh, oh, she's doing something down here we can't see. Yeah, I kind of screwed this up somehow, but that's okay. I I have a better video. I don't, it's... Yeah, go look at the video. <laughs> no, I wanted it to, that was right. Yeah, you want a full signal under the... Yeah, I want because I want it to go up and then down. Oh, okay, okay, that was the whole... I did kind of screw that up. Really, villager? If you... In the video, I say that you want to... <laughs> go Get out. We're busy. Go... <laughs> go farm. Okay, you want it to be completely grown so that that didn't happen, what I just did. Um, back to... Okay, that is there, and I just messed that up. So I'll put this piston this back in. There, go farm that. You gonna farm stuff? Oh, oh, the golem's offering a rose to the villager. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay. Uh, I think oh, that, that bracket after your 300 might not do a thing. Oh, there it goes. All right, <laughs> super hoppy. And then. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid villager. Jeez Louise. Come on, guy. <laughs> okay. Can you. Is it not picking up? I messed up the how this gets picked up. 
There we go. Oh, it's growing again. I know. I'll I um I messed up the pickup system, so it's my fault. I killed the uh, Oh the hopping minecart. The yeah. And that Dude, you're giving you're giving me a headache. My video is so much better. Apparently, you have to sleep. I need to sleep to remember how to do things. <laughs> Turns out, can you go anywhere there else go. but right here, dude? Apparently not. I really don't. Okay, there we go. We finally got some pumpkins going. <laughs> uh, if your pumpkins don't grow for whatever reason. Like to update it, it may need to be updated around it. So just put a block on top and that'll reset its the growth stock. cycle. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes they, the growth cycle gets stuck. And I say that like now it's not doing it. Sometimes it'll do it super fast, sometimes it won't. <laughs> but the whole point is that you don't have a bunch of junk on top. And so you can. You know, you only have that one observer. Yeah. And it's not super fast or anything, but it was like I wanted to do something that was automatic that doesn't look super ugly. Um, he put a trap door. Hey, buddy. Get out of the hole. <laughs> oh, I was trying to keep the villager out of there. There we go. I know. Oh, here we go. There we go. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Too bad, buddy. You you can't get into it anymore. So you want to do something to keep it from growing to the sides. Like you can put more across. It is tileable. Um, oh, you oh, only want it did. to. You only want it to grow in front, right? That's why the flowers are there. Yeah. Yeah, I remember what I did. I had instead of the second one underneath, it was actually on a on a rail cart. So it's it's set up. It still works great though. Yeah, so I just like the fact yeah. that the, the hopper minecart comes up out of the ground and disappears <laughs> yeah. again. Like that's so crazy. Yeah. I wish I I, I kind of wish that didn't happen because it takes away from the illusion, I guess. But But it disappears again, it, so who cares? It it does disappear again. It is kind of funny to see that. <laughs> But I was inspired by all the pumpkin heads and wanted to do something different. So it's just having fun and playing around with with things and be like, oh, look, I, I was able to do something a little bit different that I hadn't seen before. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with that. I have some yeah. good news and some bad news. The good news um, is you've got your, pump, your one tileable pumpkin farm working and we got to go behind the scenes for a Halloween special. The bad news is we're out of time. Out of time. Mm -hmm. Can't believe it. Tell me it ain't so, Joe. Right? This guy. <laughs> this guy is photobombing our outro too. Are you kidding me? Do you have a crush? Is that the deal? Oh, he totally like he, he got sword. all sparkly when you said that. I have a sword with your name on it, buddy. <laughs> you don't want to do that because uh, some of these iron golems, we may not have spawned. All right. <laughs> they'll come. They'll come one hit us. Although we are in creative, so it shouldn't matter. Yeah. We'll have to remember to get out. <laughs> oh, here we go with our nether right hose. We both have nether right hose. <laughs> We're holicious today. We We're just a couple of hoes. <laughs> <laughs> We're just hoeing around. Hoeing around. <laughs> hoeing around. <laughs> okay, well, uh, uh, yeah, I... Yeah, I think I think that's that means that we need to step aside for the day. Yeah, I think fatigue is a thing. Okay, well, uh, thanks everybody for watching. Yeah, and Winnie, thank you for explaining what I was doing when I didn't have any idea what I was doing. No problem, the, uh, that's my job. Build. Translate <laughs> physics speak. Oh yes. All right, uh, this is physics signing off. I hope you have an amazing day. This has been Winnie Riggle. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you again next time.